Hi friends, I'm back with one more video. So today's video is going to be like a very interesting video. So wherein we will be discussing about ratio spread adjustments for conservative traders as well as for the aggressive traders. So we will take one example, one simulation. So wherein we will try to do the adjustments from a conservative trader perspective and from a aggressive trader perspective. Let me take you to trading view. So we are going to do this for Bank Nifty for the expiry. Uh, we'll start the trade on 19th. If you look at the dates here, 19th May and 20. One second, this would be okay. Let me take. So we started somewhere at 3 o'clock and we will end at 26th, right? Okay, this is <coughs> so if you look, almost 7% move the bank Nifty has given from 19th till 26th May. 315 bank nifty has given almost seven percent place okay just to see actually thought of doing the simulation without giving you the bias of the market or chart so let's let's do the adjustments taking this into consideration because if i show you this chart you will get into all the confusion you know the bias now but still because i've made all the videos without the chart uh, uh getting into consideration so now we'll just uh because i'm doing it for both conservative and for the aggressive trader all right so let me take you to the obstra so what i'll do i'll just reset everything <coughs> okay i'll take you to <coughs> 19th 19th is a start day and 26 is the expiry day. so we deploy the ratio spread out at around three o'clock so market is at 33,300. so what we do so let me show you see the strike selection and everything already have made a video I'm not going to repeat all the logic, but still let me show. So what I what I usually do is like this is the this is where the market stands. So I take 500 points. One, two, three, four, five. So I usually go for 240 <coughs> or 230. So I'll I'll buy this. Okay, I'm just deploying the ratio spreads from from 240. I'll take 500 OTM. One, two, <coughs> three, four, five. So I will sell this. All right, and then. <coughs> from here i'll select five more strikes one two three four five that's it <coughs> right so already i've explained all the logic and everything in my ratio spread so the you can visit my youtube channel wherein you can search for the ratio spreads uh series this is my ratio spread okay i have the loss of ten thousand uh, maximum profit and undefined loss on the call side with a very minimal loss of almost like two thousand on the downside so if you want to make this loss also zero you need to just play around with the strikes you need to select the strike so everything i've explained in my playlist channel okay so now let me show you what will happen if i do not do the adjustments <coughs> at least you will get a clarity i'm just going to next day my profit is 776 day one <coughs> second day almost 1551 third day almost 3261 fourth day 5617 see just check this fourth day what will happen on the fifth day so fourth day the market is at 34400 right this is this is where we need to see now everything was perfect until here so what will happen if i go to next day see market is standing at 34377 okay next day see there is a huge gap up see market stands at 35,110 right see i'll show you i'll go one back one day back from 34,400 to almost 35,100 this type of moves will end up messing messing up our all trade but still you are at a profit <coughs> because we had a good safety because the the strike selections what we have selected and everything is like we gave enough breathing space to our trade so let me take you to day one I'll show you <coughs> for the aggressive trader first and then we will we will do it for the conservative. Okay, so now this is the deploy deployment date. We have a zero. This is our ratio spread. You know, right? Downside we have a loss of only 2000 and this is your unlimited loss. So let's say let's take <coughs> to day one. We are at a profit. Okay. Still we can see. But friends, one more thing. See when when we add the profit of 4000 on the last year, right, we add this unlimited loss right do not try to forget that we have this unlimited loss but i'll try to show you how to how to just remove this unlimited loss and still get the good profit 
right we should have a good sleep right we should not get into panic situation day one <coughs> day two okay profit day three right we are at a profit and let's say day four <coughs> right yes you are at a profit of 5616 you can you can just exit the trade but aggressive traders they look out for they got only 50 percent of the profit so they will look out for this profit so what they can do is like so we are on 25th of may okay we are on 25th 26th is the expiry day so what you can do is you go to profit and loss so see friends just keep uh, I mean just follow what steps I am doing so this is your ratio spread so what I will try to do I will exit this buy I will exit this buy because this is giving huge profit for me I will exit this position right that's it I will exit this with a profit of 9353 my payoff will look like this now I have two sole positions open so don't you think two sole positions would be like or else i'll do one thing i'll just exit this leg also i'll exit this leg because i don't want to carry two sold positions first of all i've exited my buy position okay let me show you first i'll just buy back this because i've booked at 9353 so i have to buy one more pe so what is the spread basically difference see 34300 and 33800 we have a spread of almost 500 so what i'll try to do uh, this leg i've squared off right so i'll try to get 34100 right to make it back to ratio spread okay 33800 i've booked right i'll get 34100 because i have to convert that back to ratio spread right so i'll buy this leg <coughs> so when i buy this leg the entire payoff will look like this meaning earlier it was like 2000 loss on the downside but now the moment we exited this leg and when we bought this leg our downside has become 4000 profit <clears throat> even if the if the market makes a down circuit we will get 4000 profit and we still have the potential of 9000 maximum profit within this range so i'm not going to discuss each and everything about the ratio spread if not the video will become lengthy you have still the profit of 9000 but you have the threat on the downside so who knows if the market makes a big gap up right we have seen that in fact so that's the reason i don't want to show the uh, bias of the market so now you'll get all those questions but so, okay let's let's have this video right now this upside is still a threat for me because i have un undefined loss on the upside we were able to mitigate the 2000 loss with almost like 4000 profit because mm -hmm. we are already with a profit see we can do this only when we are uh, profit in the trade so now what i can do is like so do you think do i need to still maintain uh, uh, retain this uh, leg because if the market goes on the upside with a quick momentum i will end up into undefined loss so what i have to do to make this undefined loss defined obviously right i'll go to options right this 50 rupees premium i'll just exit this leg because next day is the expiry day i do not want to have two sole positions uh, when i have only one buy position i'll exit this <coughs> leg the moment i exit this leg you know right by this time this will become your typical debit spread right this will become your debit spread you have a profit of 2428 on the downside and you have the profit of almost how much 7428 on the upside by this time all the smart traders might have got the guest i mean what what i mean to say what will happen the next day okay what see now this is the your trade has become green actually your trade has become green so though we have seen initially when i started the video right so on the end of the day we were at the profit of only 4000 change but you add the risk of undefined we do not have any undefined now right on the upper side we are with the good profit on the downside we are at very good profit of 2428 so trade has become green so whenever we go for the option strategies or any strategies the moment you make your trade green right that will give you that power to hold the trade without any without getting into panic situation now i'll just go to next day that's it you have a profit of almost 7448 <clears throat> right original trade was giving you only 4000 profit you have a profit of 7488 this is for the aggressive trader and let's see rather than getting this 34100 what see i'll again go back to one day right i bought this 34100 right? i'll just delete this and i'll get 34000 only because we sold off we squared off 33800 i'll try to get 34000 rather than getting 34100 
okay i'll go to option chain i'll get 34000 and you see the difference where is 34000 all right i'll get this 34000 i'll buy <coughs> now if you look at your chart right you have only 600 on the downside but if your view is market will go up you will be able to get more profit see now if you look at the profit area your profit is 8100 see 8100 if i if i take you to the next day direct you you are into maximum profit so you were able to double out the profit right what you could have got without doing any adjustments but with adjustments we are very safe we do not have any undefined profit so let me show you okay i'll just delete this trade i'll get get you back to the original trade and then you will be able to understand i'll just make this zero right you will get to know what would be the original profit without doing the adjustments <coughs> okay this was your original profit without doing adjustment but check this this as a undefined loss right can you hold this trade the kind of adjustments what we have done is you were able to hold the trade with peace of mind but would you be able to hold this trade because you have undefined maybe see i'll, I'll tell you even if market falls like right it goes like 1.5 percent your loss would have been 7838 forget about profit your loss would have been 7838 and as and when the market keeps going up your loss will increase 33,000, 35,000. we never we see there is no guarantee in the market right but by doing the adjustments we were able to uh all the trade with peace of mind and we were able to see even if you if you do not do the adjustments if the market gives a gap down you'll have the loss of 2000 on the downside but our our adjusted trade it for it had like 2000 at times 2000 at times 4000 profit and and here it was like unlimited so basically what we have done is like based on the uh, market progress we were able to convert the ratio spread to debit spread <coughs> all right friends so this was for <coughs> the aggressive traders let me show you what a conservative trader can do okay let me take you to the day one <coughs> right conservative trader like you and me we we are not conservative we are not aggressive right because capital is very important for us okay saving the capital so this is your original trade okay this is for the conservative trader this is for the conservative trader let me take you day one <coughs> right day one you have a profit of 776 at least you can hold the trade okay let's check for day two <coughs> day two we had a profit of 1552 now conservative trader like you and me will be you know right we will just try to mess up our trade yes even i will do that because if you look at the profit we are at a profit of 1551 and we will be in panic situation meaning what will happen if the trade makes a gap up of 2.5 percent i'll end up with unlimited loss what will happen if the trade again goes down by just like 0.1 1.6 again i'll end up into my loss see what i mean to say is like this is the market stands right this is where the market is standing right you'll have that that all the questions right what will i if you have a you are at a good profit 1552 but you have that questions in your mind what will happen again if market comes down again i will fall into this 2000 loss right that greed will come into picture so what you have to do is like simple friends what you have to do is go to profit and loss right you you already at a profit of 1551 so what you have to do book this profit book this profit right this is giving you 12318 book the call side okay book the call side <coughs> and now what you can do is right you have booked the 33800 so what you can do is you can just go to option chain and try to buy try to buy 40000 let's see i mean all about experimenting right you have to buy 40000 there is 40000 is it 47 right you have booked what you have booked 33800 right yes here we have to see the 34000 right 34,000 buy this leg and see how your trade your payoff looks like right the moment you bought that <coughs> see see you were able to mitigate your loss on the downside same the way what we have done you were able to mitigate the loss on the downside yes we have done the great job you still have the profit of 9,000 but if you look at this thing you have unlimited loss right conservative trader cannot hold the but we have we are on 23rd may and 26th is the 
expiry so we can take a chance right if you look at the safety yes no doubt your blue line is very steep see your blue at least you have a safety till uh maybe like one percent right only when the market gaps up by one percent you'll start seeing your loss see I'll, I'll take one percent so now you will see a loss of only minus 526 even if the market opens gap up right check the blue line blue line plays a very important role so i can just hold the trade for next day okay what i'll try to do my profit is 1551 with one adjustment by squaring of 33800 and just replacing that with 34000 ce by we were able to mitigate the loss on the downside right still we have unlimited loss on the call side but we have a safety of around one percent on the upside okay so we can just hold the trade we have still the potential of nine thousand so i'll go to the next day we are on 23rd i'm just going to next day right next day what happened you are at a profit of 3175 because market is flat market is standing at the same position so now <coughs> you are on 24th may so it's it's your call if you want you can just exit this trade right with the profit exit the entire trade because we are conservative traders right we 3175 right it's a very good decent profit even i think this would take like maybe one lakh i believe so you got three percent of the profit in 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 two to three days of time if you want you can exit the trade but if you want to play if you want to just hold the trade so what you can do is go to option chain one second go to option so not option chain go to profit and loss and what you have to do is <coughs> so you this is a ratio spread right this is your ratio spread so you have two sold positions friends you have two sold positions so what you can do is book this call okay you can what you can do this you can just book this call okay modify and then you can go for 34100 well, let's see what happens. I'll buy 34,100. <coughs> there is 34,100. See, no, see, adjustments and everything differs on individual perspective. So, these are not the static adjustments what you have to do. So, if you do this, see, you were able to increase the profit on the downside. So, see, we know that everyone knows that the market will go up that's the reason i don't want to show the chart you know so maybe maybe i might have done the wrong adjustments because market is going up so that's not the case because we are doing this in the live market we never knew that even market can come down market can go up so we have to do the adjustments based on the market so now everyone knows because i've started the video by showing you by showing you uh, this thing what is it the view of the market we know it's going up it's, it's a good practice so now we have done so you have the unlimited loss so what i'll do <coughs> do i need to have this second sold position in place right i'll just go to option chain what is my second 50 i'll just exit this second sold position i'll just exit the second because that is a threat for me because if i want to make my loss i'll, I'll show you if i more if i more if i want to make this undefined defined right i have only one buy position see there are three green this is one buy position i have two sole positions right that's the reason this is showing undefined the moment i close any of the sole position so this will become defined so what i'll try to do i'll go for the second sell position right second this is my second sole position i'll just try to exit this leg that's it you know right so now we were able to convert our ratio spread to debit spread let me take you back to the obstra or to your payoff now you have you have 3000 already or at a profit of 3175 your downside is very very minimal loss not loss either even you will get into profit and you have still potential of 5135 right now your trade has become z green from either side if you want to have more profit on this thing i would rather say you to just play around with this strike you can go for 34200 and see how the payoff see you can go until 34300 because our sole position is 34300 just give it a try by going for 34300 uh, 34100 okay so i'm running out of the battery so let me quickly uh, will take you to the next day the moment you get the moment you get it to <clears throat> the next day you are charger, charger charger right the next day give me a second friends give me a second let me 
to put my charger if not this recorded video will again go on toss okay all right <coughs> so now where were we we are on 25th of may okay so we are at a profit i'll take you to the next day right so we are at a profit of 5155 so with with the conservative adjustments also we were able to right make our trade green right by making the undefined loss to defined and we can just hold this trade with peace of mind okay i'll let let i'll take you to the one day back okay and then rather than see i'll do one thing see rather than the other adjustment what i can do is like right you add a very less profit on here right so what we can do let's try it let's try to delete this 34100 let's see what will happen if i get 34200 see it's all about experiments right let 34200 let me go to option chain so you have to do all this right you need to have hands on experience if you're watching this video if you're watching youtube as a video believe me friends you'll not uh, get the prophecy now the moment i uh, bought 34200 rather than getting 34100 i could have had the decent profit on the put side also and on the on the upside see your profit will decrease because we we, we bought this so we are we are just decreasing the spread between your sold position and your bought position though your loss will get reduced your profit will also see this is end of the day your view okay so if you want more safety if you have the view of market coming down so you have to do this adjustments right i'll take you to the next day okay next day 3000 market was plus on the expiry day you have a profit of 4332 <clears throat> so let's say if we haven't done any adjustments right i'll take you I'll, I'll take you back to your uh original ratio spread you know right the profit would have been more or less same but you add the exposure of unlimited loss on the call side and you still have 2000 loss on the put side but by doing all the adjustments we were able to make the trade completely green completely green in, in one adjustments we were able to make this put side green and the second adjustments we were able to do the call side green <coughs> all right friends so do not look at this profit you should be able to mitigate your loss profit is byproduct if you are very good at doing the adjustments i think you will you will become a successful trader and all the adjustments what i've shown you right these are not the static adjustments right i might have shown you only on the hourly you, you do you check it every 30 minutes see basically with two adjustments we were able to right we were able to convert we were able to get into profit avoid doing too many adjustments i mean the more the less you monitor the see you put all the alerts we, we were able to cover seven percent of the move with the ratio spread right seven percent of the move see the next day we had a gap up but still our trade did not give any profit because ratio spread you know right ratio spread the, we need this kind of market slowly up moment right if 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 we have this kind of market then ratio spread will give you huge loss that's where your adjustments will come into picture all right friends let me quickly give a time check so we are almost like 23 uh, minutes so i'll just stop this video try to have more hands on experience okay please like my video comment my video subscribe my video and also try to share with your friends thank you friends